Hey there guys, welcome back to another video. So today we'll be taking a look at the newest members of the Extra Wallet. A big thanks to Extra for sending me both the Carbon Forged and the Carbon Fiber car holder. They also hooked it up with a discount. You can use the link in the description to get a discount or you can type in the discount code at checkout. Both wallets have a stealthy vibe to it and they look fantastic. I still haven't decided which one will be my daily wallet so I will be switching back and forth between these two. These two wallets are made from military grade carbon. More specifically, they are made from 3K carbon fiber with a woven metal fabric. It has a high tensile strength, meaning that it can withstand a large amount of stress before it breaks, and that makes them incredibly durable while also being slightly lighter than the aluminum wallet. It comes in at about 10 grams lighter. For those unfamiliar with extra wallets, these wallets have a slim profile and are geared towards minimalists that only carry a couple of cards and rarely any cash with them. The wallet can hold a total of about 15 cards depending on the types of cards you have. It will fit up to 6 cards in the card holder if none of them have raised numbers. I only have 5 cards in there with only one being embossed and it fits fine. A good thing is that they stay securely in there even after I give it a nice hard shake. If you only have 2 cards in there it will also stay in place. There is some rubber on the inner right side of the casing here that provides a good amount of friction that helps keep the cards in place. What I love about Extra's wallets besides the elegant style is the quick access to all your cards. It is using their patent injection mechanism and the trigger here is very easy to press and it fans out your cards quickly. I just have to say how satisfying this is and how many compliments I have received from cashiers when they see the cards eject like that. I have been keeping my most frequently used cards in the very back because this one is the one that you will be able to take out extremely quickly. Another good spot for your second most used card is in the very front. You will be able to take it out as quickly as this. I would recommend you place your most frequently used one in the front or the back. It's also pretty simple to get the cards in the middle. You simply need to pull up all the cards behind the card that you want with the card you want in the front of the pile. And then push up on the card with your thumb and you are set. Easy as that. The consistency is great. I've been using these wallets for almost 3 years now and it just works. It has a very effective design. Even though the trigger is made from plastic, I have not had any instances where it has broken or gotten jammed. Maybe if you try to twist it hard enough or if you throw it against a rock incredibly hard and if the impact is directly on the trigger it might break. But from regular daily use it has remained intact and working well. The back plate can accommodate additional cards and their website states that it can hold up to 9 cards but that's kind of pushing it especially with the silicone band. You will still be able to select a card but not as quickly and since it will be very tight it will make it a little difficult to carry cash in the front strap. You will be able to slide a few bills in there as you can see in this clip here, but it won't keep that slim profile with that many cards back there. I recommend keeping a max of 4 cards back here and this will give you a smoother experience getting your cards out and also gives you more space for cash. This is a good place to put the cards you access less often like your license or rewards cards. You can also put the solar rechargeable tracker back here and this is sold separately and it helps you locate your wallet when you misplace it. You can connect it to Google Assistant, Siri, or Alexa and ask them to ring your wallet. It's pretty cool and very useful. Hey Google, find my wallet. Both wallets are using the new elastic silicon cash band that provides a tighter hold with a slightly increased grip on your cash. This time the silicon band comes in black and I think it's the deep black that makes these two look strikingly good. It just fits perfectly. For those of you who want to carry some cash, this will hold approximately 10 bills. You will have to fold them into thirds. If you will be carrying 1-3 to three cards in the back plate, you can probably get away with carrying up to 15 bills, but it won't be as easy to slide the cash in and out, so keep that in mind. I recommend keeping about 8 bills in there and no more than 10. I typically carry 220s in there and it gets me by, since most of the stores have card readers nowadays. The compact form factor makes it easy to slide into tight pockets like those found on skinny jeans. If this is too much of a drastic change from the old traditional FIFO wallet, I recommend you take a look at their polymer wallet that resembles the FIFO wallet. It's still pretty compact and it has a dedicated sleeve for the tracker and can carry two extra cards. So I have been using this wallet for almost two weeks now and so far, I have not noticed any scratches on it but it's still too early to tell. I will update you guys in the comment section maybe like a month in. So with Christmas coming up, these make for a perfect gift for your dad, significant other, or for yourself. You can pick them up with a discount with the link in the description. 
All right, so that concludes today's review. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you found the video helpful and subscribe for more tech related videos and I will talk to you on the next one.